Hello, my name is Jenny, your ICT skills trainer. For today's tutorial, I will show you how to enroll or register courses using the student portal. Please make sure you have the preliminary requirements before continuing this tutorial. Your first step is to open your browser and type the student portal link into the address bar of your browser. The portal requires your credentials or your student number and password. Log into the student portal using your MCAT credentials to locate your student number. Once logged in, scroll down until you find your username and password. Log out from the portal and log in using your student number and temporary password given. The student portal will require you to change your password in your first attempt of logging in. There are two ways to enroll courses, using the shortcut link in the home page or using the enrollment page in the menu. Either way will redirect you to the enrollment page. Read first the direction and reminders posted. Select the academic year and semester and class section, then click proceed. Note that class section displayed in your portal was selected by your department. If you want to change your section, kindly inform your department. Your courses to enroll will be displayed. Read the reminders and directions. The courses being displayed are your block courses and schedules. I recommend not to modify your block courses unless the department say so. Now, if you have a scholarship, select from the scholarships drop-down menu, otherwise, choose none. To show your assessed fees, click the My Assessment button, scroll down, and see the total fee. Note that you are entitled with free tuition and your total assessed fees will be zero. If you opt not to avail, select the second option I will not avail. If your total assessed fee is not zero, watch the part 2 of this video for the payment methods. Your enlistment has been submitted to your department and subject for review. You can monitor the status of enrollment in the enrollment page or in the home page. If your enlistment was returned, click the view remarks history and take action. Resend your enlistment to your department and wait for the review. If the department approved your enrollment, download your Form 5 to countercheck your enrolled courses and assessed fees. Congratulations! You are now officially enrolled. For transferee students, you can modify your courses to be enrolled based from the courses given to you by your department. To change the time and day of a course, click the Schedule button and select the schedule you want. To remove a course, click the Remove button. To add a course, click the Add Course beside the My Assessment button. Search for the course you want to add and click Add. Note that modifying your courses and schedules may cause conflicts to your other courses and or schedules. Please make sure that you have no conflicting schedules before submitting your enlistment. Now, if you have a scholarship, select from the scholarships drop-down menu, otherwise, choose none. To show your assessed fees, click the My Assessment button, scroll down, and see the total fee. Note that you are entitled with free tuition and your total assessed fees will be zero. If you opt not to avail, select the second option I will not avail. If your total assessed fee is not zero, watch the part 2 of this video for the payment methods.
Check the consent and click Submit for approval to submit your enlistment. Your enlistment has been submitted to your department and subject for review. You can monitor the status of enrollment in the Enrollment page or in the Home page. If your enlistment was returned, click the View Remarks History and take action. Resend your enlistment to your department and wait for the review. If the department approved your enrollment, download your Form 5 to countercheck your enrolled courses and assessed fees. Congratulations! You are now officially enrolled.